Thanks for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Here you can see I'm using FreeMind to map out my strategy for Shotoku Tech. And under Rocketry, you can see it's Finish What You Start. I've already pretty much foreshadowed and tipped my hand about Project X. It's no longer secret. The only thing I haven't done is publish the files to allow somebody else to create their own copy of the spacecraft. Here you see the FPV camera. Here you see a rocket nose cone designed to house that FPV camera. We're going to get to work on some 3D printing. And it goes like this. And you can see we have a good fit. Here's the finished product. Camera compartment. Battery compartment with wiring tunnel. Rocket X is built and complete. We're going to fly on this D12-3. Thrust curve says don't do it, but I'm expecting to go between three and 400 feet. Add a camera stabilizer to the shopping list. But as you can see, this is a complex setup. You've got the regular rocket launching facility. You've got two tripods, three cameras, one of them handheld, and the fourth camera is on the rocket. An FPV station, including goggles, a table, a chair for the viewer to sit in. A lot of work went into setting this up. Five. Four, three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> okay, you still see it? Yeah. Uh, this camera angle didn't work out quite Five, like I expected. Four, uh, looks like three, I need a sunshade for the monitor and bring the camera in closer. Wow. Okay, you still see it? Yep. Yeah. This view worked out quite nicely, thanks to my lovely wife and assistant on this mission. Wow. Mm -hmm. you still see it? Yep. Remember now, this is the video that the viewer is going to see through the goggles. So this is recorded live from the rocket and transmitted back down. So first we're going to slow this down by half because it's such a short flight. I love that plume of smoke, that shadow there as the rocket's rising above Kellon Elementary. Both of my kids attended there many years ago. Got our nice silky 18-inch Apache Rockets parachute there. It's wonderful, you can see that smoke trail as the rocket pivots around. Get some shots of the entire neighborhood. This is Palo Verde Park here, Tucson, Arizona. Got up to about three, four hundred feet. That seemed about right. Coming back down to the park here. See lots of green grass around. And there you go. Coming right down. Coming right down. And it's a take. Thank you very much. So this was the maiden flight. There's certainly a lot of things I can do to improve this. And I want to do this again in a larger setting with more flights, with more people getting to ride the rocket. I think that would be fun. I hope you got to enjoy this. It's been a labor of love and something that's been nagging for me to do for a long time. Time for my favorite part. Let's look at some stills. Here's the rocket on the pad. That's Rocket X. Here's Mission Control. Another view of Mission Control. That's Camera 2. Camera 3, Mission Control. There's Liftoff. Rocket X underway. Rocket X is underway. Here's the mission control view of the liftoff. Here we can see that wonderful Apogee rocket silk parachute. 
that's that shadow of the plume of the rocket. There's Kellogg Elementary. Ah, it's time for the ejection charge to push the parachute out. There's a lot of action going on here. There's my parachute. You can see the booster in the background. Here's a nice shot off to the east. Another photo bomb of the booster there. There's my parachute again. Okay, that's mission control at the bottom there, that little speck. There, the booster photo bombs mission control. There's touchdown. And touchdown again as the parachute brings the spacecraft down. All right, thank you very much. Please comment, subscribe, share, and like.